Hey guys, I'm Oxy and this is my new bleed build. This build is based around damage over time and those are my special stats before any application of legendary perks. So we have 10 strength, 2 perception, 9 endurance, 7 charisma, 3 intelligence, 11 agility and 14 luck. Those are my perk cards, as you can see, nothing really special in strength, we have all the slugger perks because we are using a two-handed melee weapon on level 1, it doesn't worth it to have it on level 3, all of them martial artists for swing speed, barbarian for tanking axe, incisor for uh, arm penetration, blocker because we are a melee build. And nothing really special here that I can uh, show you. It's a good thing to have ghoulish, especially if you're a low health build, can help you to heal a little bit. I do have also suppressor here to suppress some damage if we're getting out of sneak, because we are using sneak with this build. As you can see, we have sneak, ninja for uh, more sneak attack damage, escape art is dodgy to negate some damage if our uh, stealth is broken so this build it's based around damage over time and damage suppression as you can see because if it's our stealth is broken we have suppressor we have dodgy and we have blocker to help us also we do have of course serendipity and ricochet so there's a lot of perks to keep us alive with this build because it is a low health build and as you can see in legendary perks I do have strength and endurance of max and I do have hack and slash because we are using vats with this build taking one for the team is just extra damage when you're in a team it's really helpful funky dudes do not die from poison damage we are completely immune to fire damage and uh, we have collateral damage because it's a chance to do some extra area damage when it's about my mutations, there's nothing special here, Adrenal Reaction because we are low health, Carnivore because it's the best mutation for a melee build, Marsupial and uh, of course Twisted Muscle, Talon, Speed Demon, all the good perks for a melee build. And if you are going up here, as you can see, I'm using the Vault 94 Torn Armor, which is giving us a 250 bleed damage over time, which is really useful. If you go into my special stats, you can see I have 47 strength, so we have a lot of strength with this build. But what is interesting about this build is what we using, and it's of course the Headhunter site which is doing bleed damage over time or poison damage over time, I'm not really sure. Nonetheless, it's a really effective weapon to do damage over time. And damage over time lately in Fallout 76, it's really strong, especially fire damage over time that the cremator is doing. But this one, it's also really strong damage over time. It's just really, really good. And uh, the perks doesn't really matter. We have Sphinx Suite, which is good. Extra damage to humans, nobody cares. Now you can get this weapon from the scoreboard. And most likely after the this season it's over, this weapon will be available to buy it from Giuseppe in the, in the Vice Spring Refugee for stamps. So you're not gonna miss it. You're just gonna need to get some stamps in order to buy it if you don't get it this season the damage it's okay but the damage over time it's what we are here for and if you are going to armor you can see that i have a full set of torn armor set full set of one yielding with plus one strength every piece and on the chest piece of course i do have the asbestos lining which is making us immune to be set on fire so no fire damage on us that's why i don't use sizzling style I only use funky dudes in the legendary perks. When it's about under armor, I use the shielded secret service under armor, four endurance, two perception and four strength. It's amazing. And as a backpack, I always use the chemist modification on my backpack, which is lowering the camp weight. Minus 90%, that's just crazy. Yeah, that's really it about this build. It's a build based around damage over time. Now, of course, you can use other weapons for this build, such as the Mole Miner Gauntlet. Now, the Mole Miner Gauntlet does do damage over time. Bleed damage over time, of course, is not as strong as the not as strong as the Headhunter Sight, but does do 
bleed damage over time, which is quite uh, useful. But uh, you really want the Headhunter sight. It's actually the highest uh, damage over time melee weapon in the game at this point. Maybe we're gonna get other ones in the future. That's the build. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next one.